and begin. Today we're going to look at various ways to decompress um, in a, s a human spine. The benefit of which, as you may know, is to open up nerve channels that can uh, be blocked by compressive forces that decrease the size of the intervertebral foramen. So we, we in general, we want to make a lengthening the, um, action like this. Um, in the prone position on a Cox flexion distraction table, we see this working in the lumbar spine to open up. Let's do this manually. The uh, open up the disc spaces using the weight of the lower part of the body expanding this way. Well, you can see how the IVFs are expanded when this motion takes place. It's very comfortable and relaxing to do this. It's not uh, forceful. And in the, in the same way, we'll do the cervical end of the spine with the headpiece flexed so that the opening can occur between these, these spinal joints. Thus, oh, you see the space that occurs between the, between the vertebra where that nerve is going to exit and supply the body with healing information. So let's take a look at that with uh, a human subject. Thank you, Jamie. Playing the part of our human today. <laughs> so this can be done uh, with, without straps that would fasten the legs down uh, or with straps. And first we'll expand the table length however long we need it and then allow the decompression to happen. You feel where that's opening the, the joints, Jamie? Mm -hmm. Now, uh, other ways of doing this that you may have heard of are inversion, where the um, ankles, or, uh, the lower part of the spine is held, and then gravity is affecting the decompression or the DTS, decompression therapy for the spine, which is computer controlled, and the, the patient is on the back, and you'll observe the details of this in another video, where it's pulling very slowly and holding, and then releasing belts being around the pelvis and the thorax to create that separation, or at the cervical end, the cradle for the occiput, now I want to show you another way of doing this. Um, you can turn over on your back for staying on this table. Of course, since we are chiropractors, we do the traction manually, which happens from the top end, like so. And of course, what you see notice is that you can see the expansion happen through the spine, but you also see the patient sliding somewhat on the table. One solution to that is to use the straps to, uh, that attach to the table and hold the ankles down and then do the traction. Or another even more directed way of getting to the the spine and not the other joints is using uh, the inertial extensilizer 
And you probably want to... Inertial extensilizer. Woo! Very Back to the Future, Doc. Tell me where the flux capacitor goes. <laughs> <laughs> so, in, in this... In this, instead of stabilizing at the ankles, we use these padded posts to stabilize in um, measured spots right at the waist above the iliac bone. So the ilium will be will not be able to come up between the, um, the posts when we come over here and go look down this way if we can. This is going to be the limiting factor so that the uh, traction can happen in the spine. Now when we use this traction one can feel the letting go of wherever there is constriction and lack of uh, free motion. It, I always prep a patient. Um, uh, this is totally safe. Uh, we have to watch out for jaw problems or um, uh, certain problems like uh, prior surgery with uh, hardware um, fusion uh, is, has limited ability to use this technique but everybody else when when we make this decompression it's kind of a little bit surprising but again totally safe so the teeth are together so that the tongue is not in the way and we simply tug through. I hope you can see the effect all the way through the spine. So the, the sacrum gets, as it, as it creates a wedge, is lifted up from between the two iliac bones. And each of the vertebra, wherever there may be compression of the disc, gets a chance for the nourishing fluid to enter the discs again. We will also traction with the hips using the stabilization here. So people with hip and ankle problems, this is another very good way to increase mobility, line, increase the correct alignment, and uh, allow the discs to have a expanding and healing absorbing of the nutrients into the disc. So this is, um, I call it a pull-through adjustment. Technically it's axial traction, that is along the length of the spine, along the axis of the spine. Axial traction with stabilization meaning that the hips are being held still. It, it's performed on an inertial extensilizer, which is the only uh, table I'm aware of that has this capability of holding things in place from the spine upward. 